Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Hey, I'm uh, sorry I didn't film any of this because uh, I don't have, a, still don't have a decent mount for this lathe to uh, bring y'all in to make make stuff. I got to find one. I ordered one from China and it was still real shaky, so I didn't I didn't use it. Um, the guy refunded and. It's scrap. It's pretty much junk. I gotta find something. But anyway, I made, I've been looking for a way to measure how far I'm drilling in and been uh, wanting to do this for a while now. Ordered a, a DRO for the tail, uh, tail stock here and uh, it was a Shars and it it got uh, back ordered, and two or three days later, I inquired. I said, "Hey, uh, do you have anything?" Well, actually, it was taking a while, and then they said it was back ordered. And I said, "Do you? Uh, how long?" And what? He said, "He said we're we're going to cancel your order. You have to reorder." So anyway, I'm out that. So I will have to reorder eventually. But in the meantime, I wanted to make something because I need to be able to know how far in I'm drilling. So I made this. Okay, quick and dirty. And it actually works pretty darn good. I mean, I'm really shocked that it, that it works this good. All right, so basically you got your quill. And I just took and uh, made a knurled nut, thumb nut, finger nut thing, and um, I drilled it clear through, right? And then I used 5 by 80 set screws. All right, all right. Now, this is the wrench I use on my tools, my uh, quick change tools. But uh, I know you can't see the whole whole thing here, guys. But that's pretty much it. I thread it down through the nut. I mean, it goes through the nut, and oops, whoops, oops, oops. Not cutting that out. That just happened. All right, and then there's another set screw on this side. And that sits up. And I'm gonna use the tool of choice here. Cause it's handy, a little, little nut right there. All right. So what I did for the DRO part of it is what a lot of folks have done. I really like the Shars that they had for sale there, but apparently they uh, sold out. They're real popular, apparently. They use them for a lot of things, you know, quill down feeds and a lot of things. But I just made one out of a, a caliper, dial caliper. All right. That's what I made. And as soon as you move it, it comes on. And it does its thing. And it doesn't interfere with the handle at all. Once you get it all on here, and I just glued, I used some 3M tape on the back, and then I put uh, eight, eight magnets. Overkill, I know. I don't want it moving. And, uh, then I uh, just drop some super glue down in each hole. And so we're going to go ahead and, man, that is stiff. <laughs> it's not moving. I, I wanted a bar magnet if I was going to do this. Uh, I was waiting to get the one from Shars, or from, uh, yeah, the one from Shars, but. 
before I ordered the magnet, but they uh, that didn't pan, so we're gonna go ahead and use what I made here for now. Anyway, you tighten that nut up right there, and then that's it. I mean, you can pull it on and off real easily. Let's bring you around here. Hold on, I'm gonna shake you. Went and got the lathe dirty again, didn't I? But that's what I got. Um, set screw there with a nut, and then there's a long, longer set screw, and you uh, tighten it down through the top of this 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 uh, finger nut. And then I got a large washer here that encapsulates the. Uh, slide on the DRO and it works fine bring it all the way back and we'll zero it all right and we don't need millimeters let's do inches you can do either one though go out a little ways bring it back Make sure it zeroes again, and it did. Well, within, let's try it again. Go out a little ways. Bring it back. See what we got. shaking this thing around sorry guys that's zero so that's what we made all right and it doesn't interfere at all with the with the uh, tailstock at all um, so that's what we made I think that'll work I mean for now eventually um, hope to get the uh, one from Shars but for now and if I want to take it off all I have to do is loosen this thing right here my little knurled nut that knurl came out really nice use a pinch knurler but uh then I just pull it off just grab it and pull it off and you can tighten this back down there and that's all you got is just one screw and uh, the best part here is it doesn't interfere with uh, my uh, uh, let's see if we can show you it doesn't interfere with my uh, Ejecting the um, ejecting the uh, tools from the uh, tailstock at all. I'm turning the old wheel back here does not interfere at all. It pop there it is comes right out. So. Um, there's no problem with uh, with that. I countersunk just a little tiny bit around in the ring there, so where this will hit before the quill. Um, that way, it will eject the tools just fine. There's no problem with that. So that's what we made, guys. So we made, folks. Uh, on and off is two seconds, you know. And I just used a big nut and bored it. Went in there in the chuck and bored it out. And that gives me my flats already. There's no uh, no need to uh, make a a block or anything. At least not with this setup. Um, if I had the shars one, I would have to probably do that. But 
with this one um, I just have the nut for now and that it gives me my flats flat on the top and flat on the side for you know what I need that works not right and it's really really easy to put on that's what I like about this setup it's not uh, too hard you just lift that washer up slide it in magnet sticks done oh boy does that thing stick but there it is I just took a, a caliper and and then put a uh, used caliper to uh, make this the best part about it though is it was stuff I already had at least for now because until they get some in stock but there it is and that'll give me uh, just to, just exactly what I need I need to be able to know how far I'm drilling alright guys Take it easy. Love y'all. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.